Bernard Tobin here at the National Fire Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, catching up with uh, Jeff Gray from Class of America. Hey, Jeff, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, my pleasure. Hey, I want to talk about uh, uh, Class Combines and a new record you guys, a harvesting record mm -hmm. you set this year with uh, a 760 Class 9 Combine. Mm -hmm. A harvesting record for 8 hours, 10 hours, and 12 hours. Tell That's us right. about it. Yeah, we, well, uh, we once again um, wanted to uh, see uh, how much co corn we could put through a Lexian Combine, a Class 9 Lexian Combine, in a day's time. This is a uh, follow-up to our, our record harvest that we did in 2010, where after 10 hours we harvested 51,153 bushels. So we wanted to see what we could do today with all the changes that have been made over the, since then to the Lexion 760 uh, Terratrack. Um, especially with the addition of CMOS Automatic, the, uh, the automatic machine optimization system. So after, uh, after uh, we did it in an 8-hour, a 10-hour, a 12-hour increment, <clears throat> and um, at the end of 8 hours, or at the 8-hour mark, we harvested a little over 43,000 bushels. Then we did one at 10 hours to repeat what we did back in 2010, and we beat that by almost 3,000 bushels. And then we continued on for, uh, for a couple more hours, 12 hours, and to see how, what we could finally do in a, in a full day's time. And we did 63,000 bushel, a little over 63,000 bushel in a 12-hour period. And that just goes to prove the value of the Lexion Combine, the capacity that it has, and, which is really what we're trying to pr promote by doing this. And um, just to see the, the type of productivity and the capacity that the, the end user can gain from going with Lexion Combines. Now, what made that all possible is the, the processor that we use, the APS hybrid system, the combination of cylinder threshing with rotary separation, twin rotary separation, that allows the operator to adjust those two systems independently to match the conditions better. And um, plus, by having that hybrid system, that also provides much greater threshing and separation area. So we've got as much as 80% more threshing and separation area inside our class nine combine than competitive class nines. The combine that's behind me right now, the class seven, when compared to competitive class eight or nine combines, this has 50% more threshing and separation area. So by using, utilizing that APS hybrid system, not only does it give us much greater flexibility to adapt to changing conditions better, but it also gives us much greater capacity overall for the combine. So you're getting more bang for your buck by having that much greater threshing and separation area. 50, up to 50 or even 80% more holes basically for the grain to pass through maximizes grain retention and that's money in your pocket. Tell me a little bit more about the technology. You mentioned obviously uh, CMOS Automatic. You've got uh, <coughs> cruise pilot in there, a mm -hmm. whole pile of things. How do they yep. add up to get, well, you, get you that number? Yep, well all that, all that uh, technology, the CMOS automatic cruise pilot, that is all in the pursuit of autonomy, which is the emerging technology in the industry today. We're trying to make these machines do more. Um, we oftentimes get asked, how much larger are they going to get? It's not so much about the size as much how much more can we make them do. And by having this, this autonomous technology on board enables the combine to make these split second decisions based on the condition of the crop and other variables to, to make these adjustments on the fly when needed, as needed, that, that you or I as combine operators, we, we, we know to do them, we just can't do them that fast. So what we had on board that combine that differed from 2010 is CMOS Automatic. So we're utilizing automatic threshing settings, automatic separation and cleaning settings on the fly for those split second adjustments, as well as cruise pilot. Now what's unique about the CLOS system is uh, it, it goes to our throughput control system, Cruise Pilot. And what Cruise Pilot does is Cruise Pilot basically measures the thickness or the density of the crop that's entering the combine. We have sensors within the feeder house that actually measure that density change of crop entering the combine that helps the combine prep for either easier to thresh or tougher to thresh conditions rapidly. So you've been harvesting along you in some very easy to thresh conditions and then all of a sudden you take a Take, a, take in some the changes in moisture, you take a lot a higher uh, moisture stem, green stems, going from dry beans to green stem beans, and that sensor senses that increase in density or thickness, the combine slows down. But that's also a primary input into the CMOS automatic systems as well to make those sudden changes by going from easy to thresh to tough to thresh means we need to increase speed, 
open, adjust concave, uh, adjust fan speeds and sieves, and it does it split second simultaneously, which an operator can't do. Now, I'm, I'm, final question for you. I'm guessing yep. you're going to go for another record in a couple of years. What new technology <coughs> might uh, we be adding on to, to get us to? Oh, uh, what new technology? <laughs> that's the uh, that's what everybody wants to know. What's new coming down the pipe? Well. Uh, just have to wait and see, um, but it will be very exciting. And I think we'll try it in soybeans the next time. We've, we've proven what the Lexion can do in corn a couple times now, so I think now it's time, let's see what we can do in soybeans in the future. Hey Jeff, thanks for stopping by. Yep, no problem, thank you. Mm -hmm.